everyone welcome back to class protect today in this video i'll be completing the design of horizontal alignment in a metro using quick alignment method i'll first discuss about the clearance of different type of project first is greenfield project in case of greenfield project since it is a completely new project there is no any criteria for clearance next is concentric winding in case of concentric winding the existing center line has to be followed so the project will follow the existing center line and in case of eccentric winding uh, eccentric winding the road is widened either on the left hand side or the right hand side so the alignment center line gets shifted i like to add few more points about the a uh, design speed and the default radius the value for the design speed and the default radius comes from irc 38 we refer to irc 38 and based on the type of the road we first fix the design uh, speed so here we can see that there are different types of road classifications and for the road classification there is a ruling design speed and the minimum design speed so based on the type of the road we we'll fix the design speed for that particular project and now based on this design speed and based on the terrain classification of the road we'll fix the minimum radius for that project so the minimum radius radius value should uh, follow this irc 38 table in the previous part we added ib points in the alignment Similarly, the adjustment of the IB points to match the existing center line was also done in the previous video, as shown right now. This is just a quick recap to what we did on the last part. We used move IB, insert IB tools, deleting IB tools to adjust the IB to match the existing center line of the road. Coming to the adjustment in the curve sections, there are three main tools that are to be used. That is moving IP and slide and bearing, and the next one is edit curve tools. Slide and bearing is used to match the tangents or to match the alignment on the downward point of curve and the point of tangent. So in that case, what we do is if we put the cursor down side, we can adjust the upward side. and if we put the cursor upside we can adjust on the downside like now if i want to adjust on the upward side i'll put the cursor down i'll hold the left mouse button and then i'll drag it so that the adjustments on the upper side will be done similarly if i want to adjust on the downward side i'll put the cursor upside and hold the left mouse button and do the necessary adjustment Can again see I'm doing the same thing. I'm putting the cursor on the downward side to match the alignment in the upward side, holding the left mouse button and dragging. Similarly, putting the cursor on the upward side and making the arrangements on the downward side. the adjustments on that part is over now i have to make the adjustment near the ib point also as you can see that there is a gap and there is a the clearance when where the ib point is present so for that i'll use edit curve i'll select that ib point then it will show me the default radius of that point i'll now vary the radius so as to match the existing center line When I put four hundred, there is a little gap. 
so i'm keeping it as 500 and it's nearly closer so in that way this adjustment is done but if you notice when i'm choosing that radius or if that ip point it asks me to specify the leading transition length and the trailing transition length that is done from irc 38 in irc 38 there is a minimum transition length for different speed and different curve radius and based on different uh, terrain condition so based on our terrain condition of the project based on our design speed and based on our curve radius we need to see whether we need transition length or not that is leading and trailing transition length. If it is required, we have to provide the same minimum transition length for both the leading and the trailing transitions. After this is over, now we'll press the OK button and we'll give the interval. I'm giving the interval as 100. After that, we can see the horizontal alignment. We can see the changes. If we hold on that changes we can see the description like if i'm posing it somewhere here i can see the radius x y z changes and bearing similarly the same thing i can see for the straight section so that is all for this tutorial video thank you for watching